So guys, I was, I was, you know, I did a previous video and someone commented on it about, you know, put Errol Spence putting Manny Pacquiao into rehab. Um, listen, Errol Spence is a very tough fight for Manny Pacquiao. You know, a lot of, a lot of you guys, um, you know, a lot of you guys that are on my channel that subscribe are Pacquiao fans and a lot of you feel that, you know, Pacquiao will beat Spence's speed and listen, you've got to understand that, listen, Pacqui you know, pa Errol Spence is a hard fight for Pacquiao. There's no doubt about it. I know boxing. I know how hard it is for a 40-year-old. The way Errol Spence fights, the fact that Errol Spence is so much bigger, um, it's a problem. It is a problem for Manny Pacquiao. You know, he's relentless. The guy was right that commented on the video. He's relentless. He keeps coming forward. Uh, break, you know, he's going to throw some really vicious body shots and they'll definitely hurt Manny Pacquiao and he'll tire down the stretch for sure. And we saw against them and pa the second half of the fight, Pacquiao did really weaken and you could clearly see that, you know, Thurman was coming on strong. And Errol Spence might be more relentless and he might not let Pacquiao get away with it. However, I will say this. Errol Spence in the Kell Brook fight showed me something that in the first six rounds, Kell Brook was dominating that fight. He was winning the fight. I think... Errol Spence definitely showed weakness in that fight. What he showed is that Errol Spence can be bullied. The only problem is er Kel Brook's a massive welterweight. Manny Pacquiao's not a massive welterweight. He's not going to be able to bully Kel I mean, bully um, Errol Spence physically. Do you understand? He's not going to be able to bully him and push him back like Kel Brook was because Kel Brook was a big welterweight. Manny Pacquiao's not a big welterweight. Manny Pacquiao's going to have to use his skills, his speed in order to outbox uh, Errol Spence. Errol Spence isn't this monster, you know, that people are making him out to be. I have seen weaknesses in his game. I have seen, you know, Kell Brook push him on the front foot, on the back foot, sorry, for six rounds and outbox Errol Spence. However, Errol, um, Kell Brook went up to 160, fought Golovkin, and then he, you know, he, he came down to 147. So that really drained him and killed him. And so he wasn't able to, he wasn't, he you know, he wasn't able to give the best performance going down the stretch. He got tired going down the stretch. If Kell Brook didn't get tired going down the stretch and he didn't move up to 160, I think the outcome of that fight might have been a lot different. I'm not saying Kell Brook would have gone on to win, but I think the fight, even in the back end, would have been a lot more competitive and Errol Spence may have had a, had a really tough fight on his hands. Um, I think the fact that Kell Brook went up to 160, he tired and Kel Errol Spence was able to take over because Kell Brook weakened. Um, a lot of people will say, well, the body shots weakened him. Possibly, I think that they played a part. But I think the fact that, I think the biggest thing was that Kell Brook struggled to make weight because he went up to 160 and coming down to 147, it was too much weight to take off. Um, I think, personally, I think Pacquiao, I think it's a dangerous fight for Pacquiao. I even said this before. I said the Errol Spence fight for Pacquiao is a dangerous fight. The Crawford fight is a fight that he would, you know, it's a... It's the Errol Spence fight is a fight where he, Manny Pacquiao potentially could get hurt. The Crawford fight is a more riskier fight in terms of losing. I think stylistically Crawford's a very tough fight for Pacquiao, uh, whereas I think Spence is a more dangerous fight where Pacquiao could get hurt. But it's a, it's a more winnable fight in my opinion. Out of the two, I would say Spence is mo uh, much more winnable than Crawford. I think Crawford's a lot more tricky, a lot more smart. A lot more shrewd. He's got his boxing IQ is a lot higher, and I think that would cause Pacquiao um, a lot more trouble. I think Spence is more predictable, but it's very dangerous kind of predictable. It's kind of like where he could he could really hammer you. Also said that Pacquiao's going to fight, and Mikey came to survive. Absolutely, but it's Errol Spence's job to just cut the ring off and, and finish him off. You know, fair enough, he went into survival mode, but Errol Spence could have, should have put, stepped on the gas and should have finished him off. Also, experts did criticise him for that. With Pacquiao, will come out to fight, and yes, he'll, Pacquiao may give Spence more chances, but we've also got to realise Danny Garcia pointed this out. We haven't seen, you know, Errol Spence's chin tested. I think, I think Pacquiao has the power to definitely hurt him. I think Pacquiao could hurt Errol Spence if he, if he, Errol Spence has that come forward style with those fast combinations. What's to say Errol Spence can't be hurt? You know, you know, if Thurman can be hurt, Spence can be hurt. Um, however, I do think Spence got a lot tougher than Thurman. I think uh, Spence is a lot better than Thurman. So I do think it's a tough fight for Pacquiao, but I don't think it's one where you can say, oh, he's going to put him in rehab. Yes, it's a dangerous fight. Spence could hurt Pacquiao, but that could be in any fights. Manny Pacquiao could have been hurt in the Thurman fight. 
I do think I do think it's not as easy fight for Spence as what people are making it out to be. But I do think it's a dangerous fight for Manny at his age. Um, and I think it's it's a tough, tough fight. But I do think it's a, it's a fight he can win if he, if he boxes smart. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.